What is up YouTube? It's your boy Matt coming back to you with another video. Uh, today I decided to change it up a little bit and uh, yeah I'm gonna do an unboxing of for a shoe that I got like a few weeks ago. I was very excited to get these shoes honestly and personally I thought I was gonna keep them but unfortunately I did sell them on GOAT uh, a couple days ago and for the price that I paid for them, I actually ended up profiting off of the sell. And yeah, without fur further ado, let's get right into the video. The Ralph Simmons Oswego 3s in the burgundy color. So, personally, I would not pay retail for this shoe. Like, if you're able, if you're able to buy the shoe for under retail, then by all means, uh, purchase it. But I don't know. I I just wouldn't be able to spend three over three hundred dollars for a sneaker like this. I did buy this from a website called Dressbn in Europe. And the shoes were actually $160 shipped, which is a stupid steal. If you're able to buy these for $160 shipped, go for it. It's, it's a really good shoe. It's obviously a designer sneaker. The materials are going to be better than your Ultra Boost or your NMD. I'll probably put a link in the description for the, not this shoe in particular. I believe it's already sold out. But the Replicant Oswego and the white and black, the blue and black, and the orange scarlet colorway are still available on that website for about $200 shipped US. So if you're, you know, if you're looking for a little flex sneaker to go to school in or go to work in, just, yeah, just buy these. These are, these are really affordable right now. There's so many sales going on right now, guys, on Farfetch. All those little European shops are having sales, and you're able to buy stuff for a steal if you spend a little bit of time looking. So the materials overall are very premium, right? So I don't really know what this, like, this orange or this scarlet material is or the toe box material is. I... I I'm not really good with materials, but there's like a patent leather almost like a, it's not shiny. It's, it's very dull, but it, it's a very, it's not cheap guys. It's, it's a really good material and they actually use like these little pods. I, I have no idea, you know, what these things are made out of, but it, it makes the shoe look very futuristic and it's nice it, it's not like I bet you if I were to wear these out I'd get some looks some good looks I hope right um the outsole is just a standard outsole there's nothing too special about it it's just a black outsole and they use you know these are uh, Ralph Simmons Adidas uh, so the Adidas material, the like, there's still Adidas material used for the shoe. This isn't Boost, but it's a Addy Preen mid uh, midsole, and you know it's very durable. It's very firm. Um, I would size down because the shoe is very wide, and uh, personally, I would not want to look like a clown wearing these shoes and I would want them to be a little comfortable. Uh, I put one foot in the sneaker just to see how they fit and I'm a usually a 10 and these are nine and a half so yeah they, they fit they fit pretty well. I just wanted to give y'all like a little quick rundown of this sneaker. I know there's a there's some other reviews out there. Um, I hope y'all found mine. A little useful right now is the perfect time to be buying sneakers and clothing and accessories on uh, in the designer uh, 
industry just because you're going to find really good deals, especially on like Farfetch or like this website in clothing. Just your 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 big designers, Saks Fifth, Neiman Marcus, you know, all these all these stores. Um yeah, if you like the video, uh please please comment. Smash the like button and until next time, it's Matt signing out. Print Street, August 14th, a Soho bar, a speakeasy. It's you and me and I'm feeling free. It's crazy how everyone